Hi, I'm Nick Shell, and if you're watching this video, which you clearly are, it would imply, if I'm using logic, it would imply that you've watched me perform my newest song, which this video is about, called What If We Could See Beyond These Labels. If you haven't seen me perform that song, it'll make it very easy for you. There's a link right there in the description. It'll take you to the three minute song. Because imagine how weird it would be if you watched me describe why I wrote a song that you actually never ended up listening to. That'd be pretty weird, right? So click that link, you can check it out. I'm making this video to explain what inspired me to write this song, what if we could see beyond these labels. Ultimately, I had this thought. I thought about what if someone who, let's say, had a rainbow sticker on their car and someone who had a Confederate flag sticker on their car ended up having to somehow help each other in some big way. Maybe one had to save the other's life. And it wasn't until that event was over that they looked and saw the stickers and realized that label, that association, which, at least in the world of social media, can really be dis divisive. And I thought, ultimately though, it doesn't matter what a person believes as long as they're willing to help another person. It's really that simple. So I wanted to write a song that basically uh, puts all of these different labels up against each other, which creates a giant paradox. And ultimately, the reality is most of the time we don't know each other's labels and we're still working together to get through life. So. Here we go, and I'll unpack this a little bit as I go through the lyrics. You can wave your rainbow flag, identify the way you like. Adopt children, Roe versus Wade did not reach. The reason that line is important is, I'm pointing out the irony or the paradox that for all the people who are definitely against abortion, a paradox is created where gay couples often adopt those children that are not aborted. So that's already a paradox and I find that interesting. Now, here's the next part. Or, instead of waving a rainbow flag, you can, you can wave your Confederate flag. Try to justify your Southern pride, though to many it's perceived as hateful and obscene. I think a lot of people would not want to, a lot of people would not feel good about seeing that rebel flag and thinking that person is not worth anything because they're full of hate. The reality is, this nation is full of people who just want to broadcast their Southern pride and they're not actually hateful. But the fact that they show that flag, it doesn't matter what they feel inside, it's how they're perceived. And I can recognize that. So, knowing that as I'm saying these lyrics, someone could think, oh wow, he's, he's waving a rainbow flag, or he's waving a Confederate flag, or he's against one or the other. Before anyone could even say that, the pre-chorus beats you to the punchline. As I say this, you don't even know what I believe. My views are irrelevant the way I see it. Either way, it's just the same to me. So what I'm doing is I'm removing myself from the fight. Either way, I'm not even in the middle. I'm just removed from either camp. And here's the chorus. What if we could see beyond these labels? What if we could simply love our neighbors? What if we prayed for our enemies and we agreed to disagree? So this next verse and the rest of the song uh, further looks at other labels or other viewpoints that others would find unpopular or unattractive. Here we go. You, could, you can live as an atheist. That's an unpopular opinion. Or bow to Allah to be blessed. In, in the United States, Christianity is the main religion, so therefore Islam is not and is often seen in a certain light. Or you could be reincarnated as a willow tree. So you could not really believe in religion, you could, oh, I'm going to be reincarnated as this. Okay, whatever, whatever you believe. Okay, that's the premise. You, could, you can trust in politics. Red or blue, just see what sticks. Or worship overpaid athletes on a team. And that's the end of the lyrics, and then it goes back to the chorus. The concept is this. People, as part of tribalism, love to identify with a certain side or team and ultimately belittle each other on the other side. What if we didn't do that and we just cared about each other anyway? If you want to check out the song, click that link. Thanks for watching.